before Halloween. So we are carving pumpkins today. Our pumpkins have snow on them, but we're still gonna do it. So we thought it'd be fun to carve pumpkins and talk about Halloween stuff with at Disney, right? Yeah. This is my husband, Brent. Hello. I'm Sarah. Um, yeah, we thought this would just be fun. This is Edie. This is our, our kitten. Um, she likes to be in everything, so she will continue to be in everything. And cats can eat pumpkins, so if you see her licking it, it's fine, I promise. Um, so yeah, wanna get started? Yeah. On our <laughs> pumpkin popsicles. We already took the tops off because we honestly thought we were gonna have to put these like in a hot bath or a shower because they are so <laughs> frozen. I don't know why I didn't think that was gonna be an issue. I was like, it's fine. <laughs> Should have brought them in last night, but it didn't. I brought them in about five minutes ago. I saw. Gosh, you're so needy already. So, shall we, see, shall we start talking about Disney? Sure. So, as a Disney fan, where do your loyalties lie? What uh, What is your favorite Disney movie? Do you? I mean, I know what it is, but. Nobody else knows. So for me, I'm a big Pixar fan. That's um, why we got married. The <laughs> animated movies kind of get to me every time. I gotta go see them, so no matter your, what. Well, what's your favorite Pixar movie? Um, I don't know. Oh god, it's so cold. It's not warm. <laughs> uh, off the top of my head, I actually can't think of what it is right now. Um, okay, well there's Wally. Well, Wally's yeah, a great one. There's, uh, I almost just said Remy. There's Remy. There's Ratatouille, which is my favorite Pixar movie. Yeah. Monsters, Inc. Ah, uh, Monsters, Inc. Up. Classic. Toy Story. Oh, I love Toy Story. Toy uh, Story 4, we saw that together when it first came out. That was so much fun. The original one is probably the classic. Is that your most favorite Toy Story? It's definitely my most favorite one, yeah. <laughs> but you don't have, like, a favorite Pixar movie. Like, if somebody's like, we get to watch a Pixar movie right now, only one, pick your favorite. Um, I would probably say like a Monsters Inc. would be my first go to on that one. Yeah. That's always a classic. Did we watch Monsters University together? I think, I'm pretty sure we have. I know I've seen it. I've I can't remember you and I watched went and saw it. it like together. Yeah. I think we've seen it together, but what are your okay, what are your thoughts on Monsters University? Uh it was good. It was kind of a fun backstory. I thought it was cute. The, I liked uh, the idea of trying to um you know put a history into why they got to where they were type of thing was kind of cool. Okay, for pumpkin carving, I'm not even joking. Frozen pumpkins are 10 times easier to carve and scoop guts out. Like, I'm already done. This is amazing. I will do this from now on. Look at that. Yeah. You want to do mine? <laughs> I can. Do you want me to? Um, yeah. I like, I, I, I love Pixar movies. Um, I think if anybody watched the episodes that Charlie and I did when um, the channel first started in the format previous to this, I talk about Pixar and my love for it a lot. I think I think the backstory for Pixar as a company is really fascinating too. It got a very interesting start yeah. as a company. And, and I really love that. Um, but today is not about Pixar, unfortunately. That's a di that's, that is a topic for a different day. We're talking about the spooky season because it's spooky season outside, even though there's like six inches of snow on our table out there, right? Yes. <laughs> so no. we, what do you want? No, I thought I needed that. I don't. Oh. <laughs> uh, so we went to Disney last year for Halloween or we were there for their Halloween season. We weren't there for like October 31st, but. no. Nope. Um, and that was the second time you've ever been to Disney. Second time. So when the first time you went to Disney, you were like, what, five? You were in kindergarten? I was in was... kindergarten when I went the first time with a broken arm. Yeah, like that's all Brent remembers of his trip. It's like, I just remember. You know, no, I, I remember Michael Jackson's <laughs> show. Oh, Captain EO? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. And the Nautilus uh, ride. Oh yeah. Um, oh, it was 20,000 leagues? Yep. I remember that ride, but I remember that ride at Disneyland. Oh, okay. Yeah, because you've never been there, which we no. need to make a trip out there. 
once it opens. California, let's get going. Let's open stuff so we can go. <laughs> Do you want a different poker? No, I want to <laughs> live dangerously. It's like an ice pick. But, um, so yeah, last year we went and, um, it was really fun. That was the second time I had ever been for Halloween and, um, I really like it. I think, I'm trying to think, the first time I went was, well, the year we got married. 2018. 2018. <laughs> you need some pumpkin? Um, yeah, 2018 and I had never been there before. My parents had been a bunch of times and so they <laughs> knew what to expect I obviously love the not so scary Halloween party. I think it's so much fun. I love, I love that. Yeah, it's really cool how they open the parade. Oh yeah. At night, huh. I think that was probably my best or my favorite that, is part. Is that your favorite part? Yeah. The haunted or the headless horseman. The headless horseman. It's not easy. Riding through. Um, it happens really quick. Yeah. So if you're not paying attention, you're, you're going to kind of miss it. I think that's my favorite part of the whole parade, too. Um, I don't know. I do like the Haunted Mansion, of course, ghost host um, part of the parade, but I do love the Headless Horseman. And I, if I remember correctly, he used to come, like, tearing through Main Street. Like, he would come at, like, a canter or something, and now he just kind of goes on a slow trot um, for all you horse people out there, but I think he fell one year, slipped and fell, and the horse and the rider were fine, but... That's a very traumatic scene, <laughs> watching something that big fall like that. So I understand why they slowed it down, if if that's what happened, um, if I remember correctly. But yeah, I really um, I really enjoy the holiday season. What did we What did we do? I mean, we did the Halloween party. We did do like the trick or treat stuff. I'm trying to think of what else we did, like Halloween related. Um, I mean, really, with the you know, if you have tickets to the park later in the you know for where for the party i mean truthfully you just get to do have more of the park to yourself almost yeah because a lot of people are there for the trick-or-treat part especially like you know all the little kids and so they're i don't want to say super interested in riding rides because that's not true but i think you get a huge bang for your buck when you like go for the halloween party because it's just so empty after a while it's really fun um you need the scoop now yeah i got my oh. design poked out really? so yeah weirdo why do you do it that way well because you were scooping oh. we're sharing <laughs> this is probably the quickest i've ever cleaned out a pumpkin because it's frozen that's amazing pumpkin pro tip <laughs> put, put your pumpkins outside for the freeze yeah <laughs> or in the freezer or in the freezer did you give me a paper towel when you have a second? I'm all goopy. Um, dear. Thank you. Um, I'm trying to think of what else we did. We did, last year we also got to do the VIP tour, which was really fun. It kind um, of spoils you. It does. If you've ever done that, um, you know what we're talking about, because you really just get an amazing, like, Put it on your bucket list. VIP experience. And then once your day or your time with your like VIP tour guide is done, you're like, I don't know what to do with myself anymore. And waiting in line <laughs> is even worse. But um, yeah, we had fun with that. Um, so I think like I really just... what. So you were at Disney when you were five, when you were a kindergartner. Yep. So I mean... You said you remember being in a cast and seeing Michael Jackson's Captain EO. <laughs> it's the little things in life. Yeah, right. But what, I mean, what else do you, like, actually remember? And then, like, what is your experience as going back as a, you know, a full-grown adult? Yeah, so... Such a big span of time. I, I mean, I don't remember a ton as a kid. Um, I remember doing the teacups. Uh things of that nature uh you know i remember being on space mountain i hated space mountain as a kid <laughs> if you ask my brothers they'll tell you that uh i loved space mountain so they went on it 17 times no i hated space mountain as a kid why um, is it just because you couldn't see or like yeah because i be like what i couldn't see and you know as a five visit as a kid you're not really 
um, prepared for that per se. So <laughs> I don't think your parents. You know, I wasn't the it. person that was at that time rush out and jump on a roller coaster. At a five at five years old, really? Yeah, surprisingly enough. Oh my god. But um, and then so I mean. I think as a kid, you're just glad to be there. I remember getting a lot of signatures from the characters and stuff oh, of that you nature. Did that? Uh, stuff, you know, along those lines. That was kind of that was always a good time. Um, outside of that, going as an adult, I think you just appreciate it better because you have the ability to. I think you just uh, appreciate it better, um, just from the simple standpoint of the time and the energy and everything that's put into making it immersive. So magical. Uh, you know, just seeing the details of everything. Uh, and then plus you're ready to go. Oh, I remember Big Thunder as a kid too. Do you really? Yeah. That was before they obviously did their huge like refurb. That was, I think they called it the runaway train at that time. I, at least that's what I refer to. I was as. about to say you still call. We're like we're gonna go on Big Thunder, and you're like, oh, the runaway train. I'm like, what's the runaway train? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's the runaway train. Um, <laughs> no need this one. So that was, I mean, that was kind of cool uh, to do that. I, yeah. So you just have more fun as an adult. You just I get agree. to go to. You I mean you get to do more things? Um, I agree. You know, going as an adult by yourself versus having to have family and stuff with you kind of more fun because you just have more control over what you want to do yeah i agree i agree kind of do whatever you want to do so i, I think i really enjoyed it from that perspective yeah i mean we went with my mom and dad last year which was really fun small one small one yep. or would you like the dual one that has big and little no okay mm. um which was which was fun but honestly when my parents were kind of just done walking around for the day and they went back to the hotel because we stayed at the Contemporary, which is really awesome. Because obviously, when you're done at the Halloween party at Magic Kingdom, you just walk like a couple extra yards. We might lose some fingers <laughs> um, to get back to your hotel, but I honestly think that was like my favorite like part that we did was just you and I walking around by ourselves. You know. Yes. <laughs> but I, I think that adults that sit there and go like oh we've never been to disney or we don't go to disney because it's for kids or you have to have kids to go there they're so wrong i honestly think i have enjoyed going to disney more as an adult than i don't get me wrong i loved it as a kid um but i think going as an adult is more fun because i think if you don't get to do something you're not like just crushed you're like uh We'll do it next time, or, oh, that's okay. You know what I mean? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, you kind of... <sighs> yeah, you just get to do whatever you want to do, whenever maybe, you want to do it. Maybe frozen pumpkins aren't easier to carve. They're easier to gut, that's about it. <laughs> don't listen to us. Um, so, I, we have to talk about it, because we just finished watching this movie while we were doing just kind of some stuff earlier um we watched the haunted mansion with eddie murphy what um what are your thoughts on that i want to watch it again you wouldn't watch it again it, it wasn't terrible but <laughs> it yeah all right confession i an unpopular opinion i really like that movie like i'm not gonna rush out to watch it but since it's on Disney Plus and it's Halloween time, I'm going to watch it. And I enjoyed it. I had a good time. Yeah, it wasn't a bad movie to watch. It just... And, and I think that, like, it, it deserves all the criticism it got because there were, like, one or two really good moments and the rest of it, it was just kind of like Eddie Murphy being Eddie Murphy when I feel like that wasn't the right choice. But I think that people were reading too much into it and you just need to take it at the cat is going nuts at face value and just enjoy the the movie with the few haunted mansion references that there were but 
Anyway. It, it entertained. It was. I remember, I told you, I remember being like, I don't know. Before that movie came out on Disney Channel, they like did like a, a behind the scenes like thing on how they filmed the mausoleum scene. And I thought that was the coolest. I was like, oh, this movie's going to be so scary and spooky. And it wasn't. No. It's I mean, not it wasn't. scary. I guess if you're like seven, it might be a little creepy, but... Maybe if you're seven. Uh, maybe I'm just like the wussiest seven-year-old that ever was, but I would have been scared if I was if I was seven when that came out. You are as an adult. Yes, I'm pretty wuss. Pretty wussy when it comes to scary things. <laughs> um... So we went on Haunted Mansion about 18 times when we were there last year because it's my favorite. What are your thoughts on the ride now that you've been on it as an adult or just in general? Um, Let me hear it. Yeah, it's really cool. I mean, it's a, it's a cool ride. Uh, the way they do the growing room in the beginning, you know, oh, is really yes. interesting. Stretching hallway. The, uh, the mechanic behind it and things of that nature. Um, very unique, very, you know, it, it very, I mean, they did a great job with the illusion of the room. Except when it squeaks. When it squeaks? Yeah, sometimes, like, when you're going up, I mean, depending on what location you're at, when you're at, like, in the stretching hall, I've been in it when, like, the wheels, <laughs> they squeak, and you're like, oh, that just took me out of it. Well, I think that's just by... Wear and Accident. tear, for sure, but... You know, the aspect of the... You're right, the mechanic is really cool, though. Grease. <laughs> we can do some WD-40. So, yeah, uh, no, I mean, it's very it's very unique in how they did it and things of that nature. Um, I think they... You like that? Put a lot of time and energy, obviously, into doing it, but, you know, the tombstones on the outside, um, you know, the carriage in the front when they have uh, the actors out there for it. Oh, yeah, for the Halloween you party. Know, are all very cool, you know, and the way they do that. Um, you know, it just adds a new dimension to the ride um, to get you, you know, definitely to keep you involved in it. Yeah, I will say that, I mean, you've never been there, but the ride queue that's at Disneyland is not as elaborate or fun. What did you do? Did you cut the wrong thing? No. <laughs> um, it's not as, I, well, it's not as interactive. I mean, you're pretty much just going around switchbacks the whole time in front of the mansion, which is still neat because you get to appreciate the outside, but I really, really loved how they made the, with the graveyard area, um, just kind of interactive and fun while you're waiting in line. It's kind of like yeah. when the line's not long enough, you don't get to go through that area. I'm almost bummed, you know, because it's just fun details to look at. Mm -hmm. And then I get to tell you all of my fun Haunted Mansion facts that I know. So many facts. So many. We have so many Haunted Mansion things here. It's not even funny. I need more. Yes. <laughs> Yes, you do. I do. So, I, I'm trying to think of what is different between, other than the queue, what is different between California's Haunted Mansion and Florida's, and I can't think of anything right now, which is terrible. I know there's different, different things, but... Since I've never been to California, I have no okay, idea. You can't help me. Do you like that pumpkin, or do you just like it because it's cold? She likes ice cubes, so I'm not surprised that she's looking the frozen pumpkin but she's helping so i mean what's your what was your favorite like park that we were in when we were there last year i mean we didn't we went into epcot briefly we went to epcot when we were on our vip tour and the only reason we went there was to do soren did we do Frozen? I don't think you went on Frozen. Did you? No. No. The ride was, or the, the wait time was really, really long. Yeah, but we had the VIP person. I just think we decided not to do it. 
I think so, yeah. Okay. Because we we're did, running out of time or yeah, something. Yeah, that was probably it. We did Soren, and then we went over and did Stupid Test Track, which <laughs> we both have the same feelings as Test Track. It sucks. If you have time to do, like, one ride, don't do Test Track. Pick literally anything but Test Track, right? Yeah. It was It was bad. I mean, Test Track is cool from the standpoint of, you know, what they're doing. The mechanics of it? Yeah. Yeah, like you're but actually... The, the, unfortunately, the queue and everything like that is Sucks. just, just <laughs> it's very time-consuming. Well, um, it is. It's so time-consuming. And it's not worth it. It's just not worth it. Did you lose where you were? No, I'm I'm trying to connect the dots. Or is it because the cat's, like, inside your pumpkin? Don't stab her. Well, I'm working on trying not to. So, I mean, other than Epcot, we spent a lot of time. We spent so much time, obviously, in Magic Kingdom. We spent so much time in Hollywood Studios. And we spent, we spent a good amount of time in Animal Kingdom. But I would say we split most of our time between Hollywood Studios and Magic Kingdom. Because we really love the Star Wars area, which is amazing. Yeah. So, I mean, out of those three that we really spent time in, which, like, if somebody only had time for one park, like, what were, where would you send them? I mean, I would honestly spend time at Hollywood Studios. And mostly that's because of the Galaxy Edge um, area. Um, and... Uh, the Black Spire Outpost, because... On Batu, Bright um, Suns, good friends. <laughs> yeah, that took a little while to get used to. Um, I was into it immediately. I said it for like a week after we got back. <laughs> the... It's just, I mean, again, it's just the way they did it. If you're a Star Wars fan in any way, shape, or form, that's the area that I would be. Um, you know, Magic Kingdom, I would say, is the area that they do more with Halloween. Yeah. Then, um, you know, the other parks. At least that's what it felt like to me. I could be wrong. Yeah, that's very true. But that's kind of the way I saw it. And so if you're down there for Halloween, you know, the Magic Kingdom's obviously where you're going to be. Uh, but if you're looking for things just to do or where, where to spend your time, Galaxy's Edge, if you're a Star Wars fan... Magic Kingdom has some great rides, but nothing beats Everest. Oh, yeah, I knew that's what you are going to say. <laughs> so that's yeah, like your ultimate favorite ride, is that what yeah. you would claim? Everest is, yeah. Except the stupid eagle. <laughs> I hate the stupid eagle. That eagle is bad. It's so bad. It makes no sense. It doesn't. Like, why is it, like, lowering as you're coming up? It's not, it's like a, it's not a helicopter. I just, just, I've said it before, but, like, let's get rid of the stupid eagle. It's so bad. I don't, re and I was there on that ride, like, the year it opened. I don't remember it. It was not there. Sorry, Disney, it's bad. It's horrible. Get rid of it. I see what you're trying to go for there, but. I don't. Because you'd have to have him, like, continually going around that peak. Otherwise, he's just going to hang there. I don't know. I just think it's weird. Yeah. <sighs> Did you lose your place? Sure. Let's go with that. So you lost your place. I, I don't know where I'm... Hmm. It's not as easy as it looks. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. I'm kind of lost just a little bit as well. And mine isn't as geometric as yours. That's the problem. Mine's... My holes match up too closely to each other. You're a TIE fighter? Well, I thought we were going to have people guess. Oh, really? I already showed my pattern, so... Oh. Not me. Brent's not doing a TIE fighter. I'm just kidding. I'm trying to do something. <laughs> just trying not to cut my fingers out. I will say that my favorite thing is going like on Big Thunder Mountain while it's all lit up for Halloween. 
Yeah. It's like all purpley and fun, and I really, I really enjoy that. I really like it. As a sketchy TIE fighter. It's like a recycled TIE fighter. No, I like it. That's what I'm trying to do. That's kind of what it looks like. It's very geometric. It's very Frank Lloyd Wright at the moment, and maybe once it's lit up, it'll look better. <laughs> I'm just trying to do my mouth. It's not going very well. So, yeah, I mean, everything being lit up, decorated, and stuff like that for Halloween is very, very cool. Um, Cause when did you go as a kid? Like, what time of year do you remember? Uh, we were in. The summer? The summertime, yeah. Cause I'm trying. Uh, no, actually, no. I think it was like in January. Okay, I think that's right. Cause I think I've seen pictures of you guys. Cause we in were your coats. You yeah, were not we were, in a coat. Uh, summer. If I remember leaving, um, it was winter. Or when we came back, we landed in a snowstorm. So I, I want to say it was winter when we. That's always fun. January time frame when we went. So. When you like go to like Florida or when we go back down to Texas and it's like 90 degrees and we're wearing shorts for a week and then we get back and you have to like get your park out. Get your park out and then your car is covered in like two feet of snow, especially when. Oh, because you're the one that has to clean it off like, all the time? When your husband forgets the snow scraper. Actually, takes the snow scraper out of his car. We live in Minnesota. Why, why would you take it out of your car? Because we don't have snow every day of the year listen it was literally may the first year i was here and it snowed in may mother's day it was snowing that can happen that's why you don't take your snow scraper out of your car it could be june and it's like wow weird snowstorm coming through it's not that bad it's bad <laughs> do you want this one it's um, better for the intricate work um you know what no i'll just slice your hand off Actually, That'll be perfect. Maybe I could stay home from work tomorrow. Had a pumpkin carving accident. Can't go. Mm. Is your apple cider still hot? It's hot. It's hot. We didn't really do any, like, that's the one thing I kind of am bummed that we didn't get to do last year, which was, like, we just, we didn't go for, like, any of, like, the Halloween snacks or, did we? We didn't, really. No. We we were too busy riding Big Thunder Mountain and the Haunted Mansion <laughs> and Splash Mountain. Big Thunder is in the best in the back car. Row 13! Sit in the back. Is it row 13 or 15? Oh my uh, god. I can't remember. It's the Just take the last car. It's the last row. Just... Uh, I, th I want to say Everest was the best in the front because you go through the mountain backwards that's true and then in the front you get to experience the pitch black of the mountain going backwards in the front car and then when you go forward you get to all the drops and everything like that so yeah that's true but oh jeez that's my two cents worth <laughs> um, i can't believe i don't remember if it's row 13 or row 15 it's the back of the bus. It's the back of the bus. I just spilled my coffee everywhere. I spilled my coffee everywhere. So we just stop. <laughs> but we're back now. Brent's almost done. All right. So we talked about our experience at Briefly at the Disney parks during Halloween time. Talked about the parade and how amazing it is. Talked about Haunted Mansion the movie. What, uh, what are your thoughts on Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas? I like stop motion. I can't stand Tim Burton. Why? He's just, his style is so obscure. That it's hard just to get on board with it. See, that's probably why I love his style, is that all of his characters are, like, they're, like, gravity-defying, and they're, like, just so spindly, and, you know, obviously nothing like that could exist and move, like, the way they do. I think that's why I like it. 
Have you seen that movie in a long time? I watched it the other day, actually. It's been a very, very long time, and I'm okay with not watching it again. I remember watching that movie, and I was like, I think I was nine, and I didn't sleep for about a week. It's a Christmas movie, and it, you didn't sleep for a week. It's terrifying. Hmm. Sounds like a delightful Christmas movie to me. Is it? Like, what is it to you? Is it a Halloween movie? Is it a Christmas movie? Like... I, I feel like I would it's class- a Halloween movie. I would classify it more as a Halloween movie masquerading terrifying. in a Christmas movie, but that's Tim Burton. I guess it is. A human masquerading as... Uh, no, you mean like a creepy monster? A creepy monster. Masquerading as He's an human. alien masquerading as a human. <laughs> He's like, these are the movies that humans like. So, very, t- I mean, very cool. I mean, I like, I like, I like stop motion. I just, that movie just doesn't resonate with me no. just because of the style. It's just so weird. Yeah. I love the music. I think the music is what draws me to that movie because it's so creepy that I really, I really don't love it, but I absolutely adore the music. Look at that. It's a time biter. Yeah, let's just call it that. <laughs> we'll call it a time fighter. So we are going... To Disney in April, at least. Right, That's the plan. Right now we are. Yes. Things could change, I guess, but... Oh, come on. There we go. Um, what are you, like, looking forward to the most? So we have park hopper passes, but the question is, is will they have the ability to... To park hop? Park hop when we go. And to some extent, I like the idea and the concept of it, but on the other side of the coin, we're only going to be there for a short period of time. What, of park hopping? You like that idea? I like the idea oh. of being able to park hop. But what it, I guess since we're this time when we're going, we're going to be there so short of a time that it's almost better just to take a day, spend it all in one park, and then that way you don't have to worry about going anywhere. You just get to really see everything. So yeah. this time... I'm looking forward to obviously Everest, obviously Big Thunder. Um, That's it. Those but the food. I want to really, so really excited. try the food this yes, time around. Me too. Last time we really didn't get to um, too much, but that's what I'm looking forward to is just trying, just having more of the food, you know, getting in the park, doing something for breakfast, grabbing something throughout the day. Uh, really just kind of going crazy on the food. Not, um, not really having a plan. Not having a plan. Just know that you're going to be there one day and then you're going to be done. Okay, I cut his eye accidentally. My bad. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Did it again? Uh, yeah, me too. I, I am like really looking forward to trying... No, I have a small one. That's not the small one. Okay, fine. Um... I really, there's a couple restaurants. Oh, that works so much better. <laughs> I knew I married you for a reason. Um, I'm looking forward to trying. I really want to go back to the cantina in Star Wars. Yes. And. Um, mm. Ronto wraps. Oh, yeah. So good. Um, and I want to, I want to try some of the food in the cantina because we had a drink. We yeah. shared one. I don't think the cantina has food. Yeah, I think they have like small plates. Oh, do they? I think blue milk, green milk, blue milk. We are a house divided, and he's wrong. And I'm correct. No, it's green milk. It's blue milk. Listen, we went to Muppets 3D with our our blue and green milk, and the guy at the front stopped and asked us where our loyalties lie. I said green milk. He gave me a fist pound. So. So there are two weird people in this world. No. The rest of society, no. though, uh, He was so nice. He wasn't weird. He was Although correct. Although this time, I may want to try it with the rum. With the rum? I know, I kind of need I feel like that would add a new aspect to the blue milk that would make it even better. Maybe I'll post it. But when we went, uh, the popcorn at... Um, Oh, the spicy popcorn? Yeah, the weird spicy popcorn. I actually really liked it. I thought it was really yummy. I think that the the serving could be like half the size that it is. Oh, come on. There we go. Um, it's still be yummy. 
crazy about it. I really it. liked it. But we were ordering popcorn. I was like, we'll just do one. And, you know, the, the cast member was like, oh, would you like a, a droid to put that in or whatever? And it was the, um, <laughs> the popcorn bucket. <laughs> and Brent was like, yeah, that's fine. And I, like, looked at him like, you don't even know... You just said yes to something you have no idea. So it was the mouse droid. <laughs> and I was like, you get to carry it. I'll have to maybe post some pictures of Brent carrying the mouse droid pumpkin bucket. <laughs> all day. It was so funny. He were like, I didn't know that's what it was going to be. I just cut his eye off again. God dang it. I suck at this. The, uh... Yeah, it's a little cumbersome. What, the popcorn bucket? Yeah. I don't know how you people do it, that, like, when you collect popcorn buckets, I I just don't know how. Because, like, some of them are, like, literally this size, and you're just, like, carrying it. It's not like a bag where you can, like, roll it up and kind of stow it. You, I just, I just don't know how you people do it. Like, I commend you for having that much patience, I guess, but I can't do it. <laughs> no! He's gonna have like one good eye. Get the toothpicks oh, out. Oh god. Get the toothpicks out. I literally am going to have to. I I think I just really screwed this up. Oh well. He'll kind of be like a pirate alien. But yeah, I just I really thought that was funny. Oh no, I needed that part. Is that not it? No, it's the small part. Um Is anyway. it inside your pumpkin? It might be. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to the food. We went to a bunch of restaurants last time. We did Be Our Guest. We did Skipper's Canteen. What else did we do? Um, we did the Derby, the Brown Derby. Oh, the Brown Derby is so good. Yeah. But I am looking forward to just doing, like, park food, I guess. Right? Yeah, just kind of little things here and there. I'm a sucker for cinnamon rolls, so i got to find a cinnamon roll. Gaston's. Um, so yeah, if you, you guys know. have any, like, favorite snacks or whatever. We yeah, if you're a like fan of something it. in particular that we should be trying, let let us, let know, us know in the comments because, yeah. Let us know in the comments below. Is that where they're at? I think so. <laughs> That's just whatever YouTuber says. <laughs> On my update video, I was like, I'll put a link in the description below. <laughs> it's like, I look, Mom. I'm a YouTuber. Okay, that'll have to do. I accidentally screwed up my guy's eye. But here he is. So, frozen pumpkin carving done. Awesome. Can I see yours? Yep. Show them. Show them. You're so nice. Look at that. Yours looks great. You did a good job. Thanks. I tried my best. <laughs> I tried. I tried my very best. Um, what do you think? So. What do you think, Edie? Well. Excellent. What do you say? Shall we wait till dark and um, light these babies up and then? post pictures later yeah but um yeah i had fun carving pumpkins with you i did too thank you you're welcome thanks for <laughs> thanks thanks for joining me <laughs> it's a pleasure you, you live here i so. know <laughs> but yeah so i hope you guys had fun uh, it was very casual we really obviously had no no plan and it was a very stream of consciousness episode so i hope you guys liked it um we'll try more fun stuff in the future but until then uh merry christmas happy halloween and happy new year Bye, guys. <laughs>